Hello everybody, it's VTR JJ with Wondering Gamer. We're gonna dive into some more of the Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Let's be fierce! Dirty! Strike at my balls! Are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dealov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It is a grave thing to be elderman in the time of war, Gelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is a king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and snip the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. <sighs> this game's so much fun, but there's so much extra stuff. I mean, I get that they need to add a story and make it longer, but some it's not of the far, stuff we just do across is the village. So We've been at war with the Britons opinion. for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Ivar. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Horses in the way. Our Bishop Dealov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within is warmth. The Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Britain! Captain Anil, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlove, we are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother. The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You, I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. My lord, this is Jailbelt, the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Chailwolf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. 
fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. I'm gonna kill him. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me, I do not know you well. But Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. Now I get to go around talking to people? Really? These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be older yet. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Ab Kadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, um, soldier. Do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow me. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. Take this. Spend it as you will and tell Rodri his best path is peace. You have a bargain. I have spoken with everyone who matters. I should report. Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rotri and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. If such a boon comes, I will consider your words. I have spoken with everyone. We should settle matters. this with blood. Not should be pretty when I go to Bishop Deola. King Rodri. No! Enough of this nonsense! King Rodri, is it not plain that I do not wish to speak with you? Have you made progress? The giving of silver is more difficult than I imagined. Dear lady, the treasure you spoke of would help bring us to peace. If such a boon comes, I will consider your words. Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? The captain of the guard will advise Rodri to sign the agreement. Peace will be yours. Let us pray Rodri takes his advice. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Eivor, combat, no. now! Boneless Ivar, spineless, toothless, gutless, you cannot kill me. A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother, does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> my goodness. By God Almighty, I'll... Get them to safety, go, quickly. Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood. He always got to kill someone. Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. 
It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to find a way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help that was me so dumb. Must let Bishop Dale have know that the battle is done. I have an arrow with me. Yourself proud, Adeling. I have an arrow glitch. You murdered Rotary's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rotary is as likely as you dying a virgin, way. Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well... For food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. 
I will head to Westbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you. If only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury then. Once I've done some damage. Until then. Damn arrow. Nice arrow glitch. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. I want this damn arrow to get off my hand. Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. In Rodri, we share a common enemy. My only wish is to destroy his supply line and bring him to the table, begging for a truce. Once we have peace, you and your kin will no longer walk this land in wretchedness. What you say is good sense. Very well, Dane. Here's what I know. The Britons move their goods through Duston Quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the Stone Quarry. And thank you. Know this guy. Go kill one of these zealots. Can we get that arrow off my goddamn hand? Why? 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 Lost are everyone! 
Hey, I think you this most. is... Breta, Ustre, and Setere. I served the true gods. The old ones. To be killed by you holds honor. Killing holds all glory. I think that guy has to do with the... Uh... I think that guy might have to do with the Excalibur sword. <laughs> 